9 degrees. Uh, this patchy dense fog is most uh, mostly a problem to the north. Won't rule it out for other folks to get patchy fog through South Jersey and parts of Long Island, but really the sense fog advisory goes north of the city through northwestern New Jersey and extends a little through the early part of this morning. And then we have a pretty nice day. Some sunshine coming our way and we brace ourselves for really a couple of chances this week for storms. Uh, first of all, rain to snow on Monday. And then Wednesday, we could have the potential for a more po details on that as the morning goes on. Let's get it over to Michelle for the headlines. All right. Thank you so much. Let's start with this. The first shipments of Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine could arrive tomorrow in New York. The state is expecting 170,000 doses this week. The state is expecting 170,000 doses this week. That's the thing, Weather. Amy, as we bring you in, you know, we talk about Sunday and everybody's excited. It sounds like a great forecast right. today. And then kind of down the tracks I know. is something that it sounds right. like it could be significant. And it's a short track, actually. Yeah. Really? It's yeah. going to be shorter? Down the track, but oh. it's a short track. Monday looks a little messy, you guys. And then we've got a second storm to talk about on Wednesday. It's keeping us so busy here this morning. Looking at temperatures in the low to mid 50s uh, through the morning hours. Today's a terrific day. Easy to take temperatures, almost 60 degrees. That's not bad at all. Skies are going to look really nice, too. Uh, one complication this morning is with all this mild air at the surface, we're seeing some moisture form, and that creates the fog issue. So visibility is reduced in some areas, mainly along the 95 corridor coming in and out of Connecticut, and that's where the advisory is in place by the National Weather Service. But parts of northwest New Jersey also seeing a little bit of this and extend up into parts of Westchester, seeing some patchy fog. Could be dense at times until about 9, 10 a.m. this morning. Then we'll see that break up. Some drier air comes in. A uh, mild breeze. So right through the afternoon. Watch the future cast. We've got two chances here. First one is coming up Sunday into Monday. And a westerly flow this afternoon is what keeps us mild. And then it is Monday where we track the first storm. Starting overcast tomorrow morning. Cold air comes in, but it's not cold enough quick enough. And so we go with rain that changes over to snow. You see the change over line there in pink and a purple. Enough cold air does come in late on Monday, I think, to change some of that over to snow where we get some light accumulations for areas north and west. And then we get the cold air flooding over the area for Tuesday. It's very chilly and brisk, setting the stage for the next round of winter weather, which actually could create some accumulating snow for us. See a little change early tomorrow morning. Brisk and chilly, rain changing over to wet snow throughout the day, 43 the high. So not quite cold enough to keep it all snow on Monday. But look at the temperatures Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday of next week. It does hold this cold uh, right through next weekend. So blustery and snowy on Wednesday. We're working on snow totals, but it looks like we could get accumulations of a couple of inches across parts of the area. I'll have more on this as the morning goes on in a few minutes. I'll see you then. Today we'll take a look at a lot happening in the weather this oh. morning. Sounds like today we should soak in today if you're a fan of the warmth. I, I think definitely. Look what, look how, what it is right now. Meteorologist Amy Furfus and uh, so the, the visibility is reduced. This area in yellow here until about 9 a.m. is expected to have problems. Not looking at any storms today. However, a very active weather week. First, Monday, we're looking at a coating to an inch of snow, so slushy, wet snow from the storm that'll be moving in. Some of the higher elevations of northwest New Jersey could see up to three inches. Everybody else looking for a cold rain, maybe some wet snowflakes on Monday during the day. As temperatures will be in the low 40s. But a major winter storm forming for the middle of the week. There's an active weather alert already in the active weather seven-day forecast. Never say never. Just saying. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Mm. Was that a kitty cat scampering away? <laughs> I think it was. All right, so appropriate. Big Dog Sunday. Amy, what's going on? That's Art right. Get your paws up. Uh, that was It was a little creepy, but I got that reference. It was cre it's a creeping dog. Uh, temperatures today near 60. It sounds like a nice day for a long dog walk. And... Prince is ready to go. So many of the dogs are in the festive uh, spirit. Good morning, Max, and in by Mark via Twitter. We've got Sky, weather, I guess it is, sweater weather, and Maggie finally uh, ready for a little visit from St. Nick. We'd love to see your pet pics. Hashtag them. Big Dog Sunday. Way to go, Santa. Way to go. Let's go.
play. I mean, that's Thank always you. ideal, right? Thank you for the segue there, Mike. Right. Right. I think I'm going to be able to get you a white before okay. Christmas. Oh, I don't know if the snow's going to stay on the ground for a white Christmas, but at least we're going to have some snow before then. All right, looking south, we can see one world trade, a really nice view there. As we get into the first part of today, the only real wrinkle here is visibility. So some problems with fog, but this mainly due to the mild temperatures right at the surface, creating some of that moisture. So down to a mile and a half in Bridgeport, that's also in the zone of Poughkeepsie's less than a mile. Those are in the zones where you just be aware of the fog. Other than that, very mild. Temperatures are good above average by as much as 20 degrees today. And then I've got good sky conditions. By Monday, though, we're expecting snow for parts of the area. Northwest New Jersey, parts of Orange County. And coming to an end, so wet, fleshy inch of snow, and then one to three back there for the higher elevations. We're in mixing with some snow later on Monday. I'll show you that in the future cast. Temperatures will just be in the low 40s tomorrow, and so that'll be the change is that we have much colder air coming into this first part of the week. That gives us a chance at some snow tomorrow, but it's a wet snow. It doesn't last. Wednesday, that's a major winter storm. We could see parts of the area getting four to six inches of snow. Not necessarily in the boroughs getting that much, but in areas north and west, it's possible, especially with the setup like we have. So, my, Sunday is a beautiful day. Enjoy this afternoon. Get your errands done. Tomorrow, sort of messy, especially once you're in the midday hours. The rain takes over, and then we have that rain snow line. It's really evident here on the map. That storm system clears out. Tuesday is chilly, blustery, windy. The cold air is coming into the area, setting the stage so that we have the cold air in place in time for the next system that comes in. So the European model first gives us number one storm, mainly wet rather than white. Storm number two here on this model, you'll notice, does have not only well-organized circulation with the circle here, low pressure, a lot of snow on the back side of it. Areas north and west getting the most, but we're not going to rule out the city from seeing some light snow accumulation too, so there's going to be something to watch over the next day or two to see how it all comes together, but certainly cold air is in place and moisture is available, so the track of the storm really tells who gets the most snow from this one. 43 degrees tomorrow, temperatures fall into the 30s, and they're stuck there for the next several days once we get into Tuesday. Look at that, hovering right around the freezing point from Wednesday all the way through next Saturday, that ash weather alert, again, it's for the storm system that comes in second half of Wednesday into early Thursday. So, love to pay attention to you guys in active weather pattern, but that's our chance right there to get some light stuff on the ground before Christmas. Michelle? All right, sounds beautiful. Thank you so much, Amy. Before the break, we want to share our latest piece from Localish. One woman... Break, we want to share our latest piece from Localish. One woman... Office. And in active weather, we're tracking two storms this week. Uh, plenty of time to enjoy the rest of the weekend first. Then Monday, rain to snow and another major winter storm by Wednesday that could create accumulating snow for parts of the area. So looking at today, things look pretty nice. We'll expect high temperatures near 60 degrees. The rest of the active weather forecast and details on the storms when we come back. Brooklyn, and we see all the handmade signs right. from the mm -hmm. kids saying thank you to all of the first responders, from the nurses right. and doctors to the delivery people and the, you know, sanitation department. It's just, it's and all the it's ones we got, but it's it's cool to see. Yeah, it's lift, it has to lift their spirits a little bit, especially because yeah. it's been such a hard, hard long haul for so many of the essential workers. Looking south down to One World Trade, here's a nice day. Hopefully, this can give you a break. Uh, weather that's worry-free, 53 degrees in Central Park, and. And temperatures that'll make it almost 20 degrees above the average high for this time of year. Sounds pretty good. Uh, looking at these mild conditions, uh, unfortunately can't last. We are in the month of December. We've got two storm chances this week. Bit of rain and snow on Monday. I mean, it's sort of a slushy coating north and west of the city. Major winter storm. This could actually bring some snow to the boroughs, and we could see several inches for areas north and west of the city. So looking at the track of the storm system right now, Wednesday looks like it could be uh, significant. Right now, 33 in Andover. That is the coldest number on the map. We do have some 50s out of Long Island. Montauk uh, taking the top temperature with 54 right now. 
Reduced visibility in some areas, even improving as we speak, though, we're up to a mile and a half for Bridgeport. Um, that's actually the area right here, the 95 corridor, where we're looking at the dense fog advisory. It expires at 9 a.m. this morning. We will see sunshine through the afternoon. That's what boosts our temperatures. Tomorrow, cold air is in place. Not quite cold enough to see a lot of snow. But the cold rain should change over to a slushy mix during the day. Then a coating, a slushy, slushy coating, and uh, areas north and west could see grassy uh, surfaces covered from this round. So on the future cast, you'll notice westerly flow through 2 o'clock today. That gives us mild air dry mild air then we get some colder air trying to make its way in late tonight into early tomorrow morning you'll feel the change the warmest temperatures of the day will be early on monday and we'll see the numbers falling through the afternoon as the cold rain comes down and some snow mixes in that's where we'll see our temperatures stuck in the 30s by tomorrow night and then tuesday we just get cold air coming in we'll wait for the next storm to storm so round one is more wet than white and then we get a chance to see some accumulating snow Notice on the computer models after one o'clock that's when we see this really get going it's a well-organized system and it will be out of here by thursday midday that's a look at the forecast again the more significant storm is coming for the middle part of the week so if you need errands done today and early tomorrow might be the chance to get that done look at the cold air that comes in and settles in you guys 30s once we get that storm system in here they'll take us into the last shopping weekend <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Let me clear my throat. That's very funny. The Mets are making some moves this offseason. We're going to tell you who appears to be heading to City Field. And the Scarlet Knights want to do something they haven't done in three years. Can they match? Looks good. Feels good. 53 degrees right now. Not bad, right? Here we are in the middle of December and we've got temperatures 20 degrees above the average. Visibility is an issue for some areas, especially coming in and out of the city along 95 to so the corridor north of the city, looking like uh, some patchy fog continuing until about 9 a.m. Doesn't last all day. In fact, skies look really good. Satellite radar picture is all opened up here with no major storms. Satellite radar to picture is all opened However, up here with no major storms to contend with today. However, round one coming. Coming on Monday. So tomorrow morning, waking up to 43, that'll. In nice weather, this is it. Um, yesterday we had 58 degrees, by the way, so getting near 60 seems real possible today. Then a bit of rain and snow on Monday. This is a, a more potent storm is coming in on Wednesday. This is one that we're really going to watch. It looks like a major winter storm. When we say major, that puts us in the category of some parts of the area getting up to six inches of snowfall. So let me show you what's happening. We set the stage here with the mild air in place, a westerly flow of air today, and a lot of sun breaks. So no way noon, the rain will have started, especially for areas through south. South Jersey, then we get some mixing of snow coming in there. Notice the temperatures on the map though. We're in the upper 30s. This is very difficult to get snow to stick. So, wet, slushy, little messy weather for Monday afternoon. We could see some areas, especially to northwest New Jersey, those higher elevations, catch some moisture cuts off, and that's where we could get some uh, accumulations of one to three inches for that first storm. Tuesday is all about the cold air, 20s and 30s. Wow, that's going to make it stick. Once the snow arrives on Wednesday, we'll be talking a much different story. So here's the first round. Rain mixed with snow at times on Monday. Coating to an inch. Some areas north and west could get a little tricky with their snow mounts. Then we get the next snowstorm coming in on Wednesday. So There's rain at the coast, there's snow over the city, and there's accumulating snow happening north and west overnight into early Thursday morning. There could be just enough rain, I mean just enough water, with that cold air for the long of... Not sure how many, but in the city it looks possible that track hugging the coast looks like it sets us up for a pretty decent midweek storm. So that's something to watch for again. The timing would be Wednesday night into early Thursday that you have to figure out your travel plans. 43 degrees for the high tomorrow, then we're in the 30s the rest of the week. There's the AccuWeather alert. Takes us really into Thursday morning as well and will be very, very cold as we head into next week. So you guys, uh, we have another 40 minutes or so here. We're going to run the numbers a little bit more, see if we can get you more information.
based on that. But a little active weather pattern setting up for Monday and Wednesday, right? Ah, oh, my goodness. Monday and Wednesday, <laughs> blustery and snowy. I love it. Thank you so much, Amy. Got it. Putting the pieces together, the Mets are making some moves this offseason. We're going to tell you who appears to be heading to City Field next.